we start the show this week with the latest toy from tech giant Google. It's a media streaming device called the Chromecast. Grant took it for a spin and filed this report. Streaming from a device like a PC or laptop to a second screen like a TV or projector is no longer just for businessmen giving PowerPoint presentations. In fact, the mainstream media is catching up and television has moved from this to this. And Google knows it. The guys at Google HQ have been in the business of providing some of the internet's most elite content through YouTube and their Google Play services. Now they want that content on your TV and Chromecast is their solution. It's a dongle that fits into your HDMI slot in your TV, but unfortunately needs to be powered through a USB port. You'd better have one free in your TV or else you're going to have cables all over the show. Now that it's basically set up, how do I get content to stream and what do I stream? For starters, it's slim pickings in South Africa with a lot of the content region blocked thanks to large distributors here who own the rights to distribute content. So unless you're running a VPN or a virtual private network, something that allows your internet to think that you're in another country on your devices, you can't run Netflix or Hulu. Right now, the best thing to use is YouTube and it's arguably not the greatest resource for traditional films and television. That aside, you're able to stream films that are on your phone's hard drive painlessly and at a decent quality too. So whether you've downloaded them legally or sharing them against the will of the industry, you're able to get that movie onto the big screen. It works well and is relatively cheap, especially in comparison to its more expensive cousins. <clears throat> the Apple TV, but content is definitely limited. If you have a digital library on a local hard drive at home, then maybe this is the streaming device for you. But unless that's how you watch media or don't use a VPN, then I'm afraid at this point, there's very little reason to own a Chromecast in South Africa.